Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how to configure a basic network using Cisco Packet Tracer. So for that, we're going to use today four PCs, two switches, and a single router. So as you can see, these are all different devices. So to connect them, we're going to have to use the copper straight through cable. So firstly, we're going to connect the PCs with the switches. And now we're going to connect the switch with the router using gigabit ethernet ports. Now as you can see there are red lights that means there has been no connection established between the two. So we're going to have to configure and we're going to change these red lights into green. So for the first step for that it is we're going to have to configure the router ports. Let's go to CLI mode. Let's see what it says. Would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? Yes or no? We're going to type now. Enter. Again. Now in the user execution mode, let's type enable. Press enter. Now in the privilege mode, let's type configure terminal. Press enter. Now we're in the global configuration mode. So now we're going to have to configure the interface. So we have to write interface and the name of it G0 slash 0. Enter. So now we're going to have to write IP address. and assign IP. I'm going to use 1.1 .1. you can use anything and press space and type the basic class C subnet mask and press enter and now we're going to have to write no shutdown press enter. Now as you can see interface G0 by 0 changed state to up that means this port has been configured. So let's spray it. Enter. Now we're going to have to exit the interface mode. Now we get back to the global configuration mode. And let's configure the other interface G0 slash 1. Just remember we're going to have to configure it for two different networks so that it would work G0 bar 1 change state to up so it's done let's see see the red lights have been changed to the green lights now the next step for it is let's configure the PCs click on it Go to desktop, IP configuration, and type an IP address. I'm going to use 1.10. You can use anything. And about the default gateway. The default gateway is the gateway. We're going to have to type the IP of our exiting router. So in our case, the IP is 192. 168 1.1 .1. same to the other PC in the same network again default gateway 
and now we go to the other side I'm going to use 2.10 and now this side as we can see let me show you now this side a default gateway is going to be 2.1 because this port has been configured with that IP address because it is connected to this network so let's put it up 2.1 same to the second PC so this has been done the connections has been established so let's forward some time because to update their tables so now we can also check we can send messages a simple PDU let's first try with the PC to the router you can see here it is successful the connection has been made we can check it this side too yes see it's successful and now let's see if it can go across the network yes see it's going so that means our connection has been established so guys this was the basic configuration of a really simple network 